We are at the Osterreich ring for the seventh race of season one of the SURL Sun Energy Wheel of Your Elite One Division. The 21 of Tony Newman, who won at Circuit the Spa earlier in the season, will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 57 of Mitchell Joey, who won the first ever event at Mazda. Rest of the starting lineup for today's race. Devin Anderson, who has started in the 17th spot, has a 13-point lead over Bulldog 67, who is starting in the fifth spot. Yes, the Osterreich ring, otherwise known as the Red Bull ring, otherwise known as the A1 ring, is the seventh race here in season one. We are past the halfway mark. Twelve races is the schedule for this season. So we are past the halfway mark. Only one time has a driver won twice this season. That was Nita HBK, Estro, and Catalin. Catalin was the last race, and I believe it was the best race we've had so far this season. It was a neat racetrack, and we had a good finish. A last lap pass, too, I believe. Nine laps is the scheduled distance around this 3.67-mile, 11-turn road course. Of course, all the race races this season will be a road course because that's what they mostly did in the Willem Euro division in real life. And without any further ado, here are the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems, which is always a good thing. We want a clean start. Tony Newman looking to become the second driver to win twice here in the Willem Euro 1 division. And we are racing here at Osterreich Ring. We go up the hill. Battle on side by side between Tony Newman and Mitchell Joey. We got cars scraping the wall. Tony Newman with a huge run coming out of turn number two. The drivers battle for position further in the back. We got a driver going off course. That's the one. Jeff Bright, but he's still going. Up the hill. Into this other turn. Tony Newman. Pulling away ever so slowly from Mitchell Joey. Got Greg Lee in third. Good run for him. And you got Bulldog 67 in fifth. Everybody's single file back here for some reason. Not much racing for position. Through the S's, I guess you could say. Tony Newman will lead him out of the this is the final turn, right? Nope. This is the S's. Always get confused with that camera angle right there. Down this long back stretch. End of this turn. Mitchell Joey's trying to fend off Greg Lee and Bulldog 67, who I mentioned came in here second in points. Up the hill again, down the hill. You see the lead Tony Newman already has. Now he comes out of the final turn. And leading the first lap will be Tony Newman. Battle for second. Here comes Greg Lee. Nope, just can't get past the 57. Not much racing back here. They're basically just going single file. Like how those drivers just sling it into that turn.
You see the 57, Mitchell Joey goes a little bit wide. Here comes Greg Lee trying to capitalize. Nope. Nope, he's got to run. Being pushed by Bulldog 67 as we go down the hill into the S's. Mitchell Joey's leaving the bottom open. Greg Lee trying to get a run. Nope. Back up to our race leader, Tony Newman, who I mentioned before, won four races ago at Circuit the Spa. Looking to tie the record with Nita HPK for the most wins in the Wheelam Euro 1 division. Of course, the overall driver with the most wins in the Wheelam Euro division is Daryl Emma. who currently has three career wins. Off the final turn, Tony Newman will lead yet another lap. Two have been completed. It's mostly a follow the leader race. Greg Lee is still trying to get around Mitchell Joey. The reason why uh, he will get five additional points for second the Wheelam Euro Division awards 40 points for first, 35 for second, and 34 for third. And then from third on back, you get one point minus. So second place is a place where you want to finish if you can't get first. And Greg Lee wants it. He wants that extra five points. But Mitchell Joey also wants it because he is a former winner. He knows he needs those five extra points in case it could come down to the wire between him and and another driver for the championship. So Mitchell Joey's not going to give up second place that easily. Greg Lee wiggles the car a little bit. That's going to allow Bulldog 67 to try and go for third. Here he goes. And Bulldog 67 needs that spot because he is 13 behind Devin Anderson, but he's going to lose a spot actually to the 20, no, excuse me, 77 of Diego Yepes. So instead of gaining the spot, Bulldog 67 is actually going to lose two to the 51 of Toby Fox, the 77 of Diego Yepes. He might lose another to the 84 Hassan Elvin, but he fights back and passes the 51. So instead of gaining the spot, Bulldog 67 lost one point. Hey, if you guys were expecting a great race like Cataluna was, or no, excuse me, Kyalami was, you're not going to get it at this track. Osterreich Ring has never been a good track to pass, even in real life. So Tony Newman is just riding around on a Sunday or Saturday afternoon ride, depending on when you, whenever you're watching this. Tony Newman, not really a well-known name in this league. He's He has had some success, but nothing to sneeze about, really. You know, he's had a few wins here and there. Of course, one earlier in the season at Circuit the Spa, as I mentioned before. He's just not like a well-known name like Keka White Lion or Shuttle or Fitzwater or Jesse Turner, but... Winning twice in a season, that will boost your legacy up just a little bit. As well as possibly winning a championship. Ninety-eight, Mohammed Zain Abdullah running in the twelfth spot. Good run for that driver. Jeff Bright. Just outside the top 10, behind the 32 of Max Anderson. Brother to Devin Anderson. The lead is 2.8. As we will complete the fourth lap.
as Tony Newman goes up the hill. We got five laps to go. We got battle for position back here. The 44 try to get around Mitchell Joey once again, but just can't do it. And they have closed in just a little bit on Tony Newman. The lead was 2.8. It is now 2.04. We're keeping an eye on the race lead because this is why the battle for position is happening the most, or is most important, really. As you can see, it's still single file all the way through the field. No one's really battling for anything, as Mahamil has actually lost a spot to Max Anderson. Bulldog 67 has lost ground with the top three drivers. As Greg Lee is still hounding Mitchell Joey for second. I again mentioned before, second place awards five extra points compared to, well actually it, it scores one, you know, 40, 35, 34. So this will be an additional point for Greg Lee if he can get past Mitchell Joey, which Mitchell Joey might need that extra point. It's a five difference between second and first, not second and third. I misspoke earlier. Whoa, Tony Newman goes off track just a little bit. Almost hit the wall. But he will easily lead that lap. Let's we'll see what the margin is this time. 2.8. 2.6, he gained two hundredths of a second, despite going off track on the ruffle strips. It'll be four laps to go for Tony Newman. Barring we have a caution. Have a green light checkered, could extend this race, which is the last thing Tony Newman would want to see. Of course, green white checkered means the race will be extended. Two extra laps for those of you that don't follow uh, NASCAR or the SCR out that often. Basically, it's NASCAR rules. We have unlimited number of attempts at giving you a green flag finish. So we could the, the most we've ever had is three in the Classic Truck Series. In Season 3, I don't remember off the top of my head who won that race. I'd have to look at my notes to see who won. The truck race at Watkins Lynn. Let me look at my notes. That would be uh, Gustav or Gusto Archoa who won that race. That was, that was a crazy race, too. Going gr three green-white checkers. So it has happened before. As we go through the field, see what's going on. Nothing really. Everybody's just following the leader. And as of right now, Mark Owens would be last. He's got damage on the left side of his car. So that's obviously affecting him from passing the 75 Adrian Ford just in front of him. Battle for position. Derek Edison, he wants uh, 13th, and he's got it easily. Well, at least we had a battle for position somewhere. Tony Newman now with a 2.6 second lead as it'll be two laps to go when he gets to the line. Again, the leader will get 40 points for winning the race. You, do, you are not rewarded points for leading laps. Per Willem, your elite division rules. Tony Newman making his way down the back stretch. 
We'll get two laps to go. He just has to hit his marks. And his second win of the season will officially be his. Of course, the car has to pass post-race inspection and all that jazz, but he should have no problem. Once again, all these cars are equal. Up the hill. Two laps to go for Tony Newman. The lead is two. No, excuse me. The lead is 3.5. Back to Mitchell Joey. Battle for position. Here comes Diego Yepes. He wants to pass Toby Fox. This will be for fifth. Toby Fox goes off track a little bit, but he keeps going. Battle behind them as Max Anderson has passed Jeff Bright and, well, Hassan Oven. And Jeff Bright has also passed Hassan Oven. Mark Owens is still in last place. For those of you that follow the last car battles. Tony Newman has a lap and a half to go. I don't I don't remember him winning multiple times in other series. Of course, I've done what 26 series in my lifetime, so I can't exactly remember every single stat that this league has to offer. But this will be one of Tony Newman's best series seasons of all time if he can rack up another win as he leads it through the final few turns. He will see the second greatest thing you could ever see in racing the white flag to make this race official, which would mean no green, white, checkered. Which is the worst thing a driver could ever see, a green, white, checkered, when you have a three second lead. White flag one left to go for Tony Newman. The lead is now 3.2. So he lost six tenths of a second to Mitchell Joey, who is still having to deal with Greg Lee. Everybody is mostly single file. The lead, three seconds for Tony Newman. Just slowly making his way through the field. I mean, yeah, through the field. Making his way through these final few turns. With relative ease, he doesn't have to push the issue. He has a three-second lead. Metro Joey has closed in just a little bit, but it's not going to be enough unless Tony Newman blows up or crashes in the final few turns. He came into this series as a veteran, not much to his credit. He has won several times before. In his third start, he won at Circuit the Spa for his first SCRL Sun Energy Willem Your Elite One Division race win. And four races later, Tony Newman will pick up Win number two in this series. Makes his way through the final turn. He's going to do it off the final turn. Tony Newman picks up win number two of the season here at Osterreich Ring. And we have yet another Dominator. Harry race results. Tony Newman leads every single lap and scores his second one of the season. Mitchell Joey cut the lead down from three seconds to 1.8 in the final lap to score second. Third was Greg Lee. Fourth, Bulldog 67. Fifth, Toby Fox. Sixth, Max Anderson. Seventh, Diego Yepes. Eighth, Jeff Bright. Ninth, Hassan Oven. And tenth was Matt Hamill. 
Points leader Devin Anderson finished way back in 18th. All 24 drivers finished the race on the lead lap. No one was out and no one was a lap down. Well, that is it for the seventh race of the season here at Osterreich Ring. We will take you to your we will take you to Victory Lane with your race winner, Tony Newman. Here are your points standings after the seventh race of the season at Red Bull Ring. Tony Newman with the win is our brand new points leader. He has a six point leader on Bulldog 67. Third is Devin Anderson, seven points behind. Fourth is Hassan Oven, 13 points behind. And fifth is Steve Locker, 20 points behind. Sixth is Greg Lee, seventh is Mitchell Joey, eighth Derek Edison, ninth is HBK, and tenth is Alexander Rowe. Eleventh is Tim Randolph, twelfth Jeff Bright, thirteenth Toby Fox, thirteenth Han Device, fifteenth Marcus Sachi. 16, Max Anderson, 17, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, 18, Diego Yepes, 19, Mark Owens, and 20, the set is Mill. 21st, Adrian Ford, 22nd, Matt Hamill, 23rd, J Ryan Rush, and 24th is Floyd Wilson. That is your point standings after the 7th race of the season at Red Bull Ring. We will next see you at the 8th race of the season at the Cataloon Circuit. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.